Here's how you update habits you want to track for just one month without touching habits for the other months, AKA leaving the other months intact. It's quite simple. Not a lot of customization needs to be done. Normally for how this template is set up, you define the habits that you want to track in this box on the setup tab, and then they will just appear in column I all the way down in the spreadsheet. But what if for, for example, in January, you want to run a little experiment where you track different habits and you don't want these to appear here. Well, all you have to do is find the field with the array formula, uh, which you can find here. It, it's the top field where all the habits are being listed for one month. You delete it, all the other habits will disappear and you will have the space or the fields empty for you to write whatever habits you want to track instead. It's a bit exaggerated, but we're pretending here. Yeah, that's it. That's how you customize the, your habits for one month only. And you can do the same for, for other months. And if you were to continue running this experiment into February, for example, but you still don't want to touch the habits that you quote, quote, normally track. You could, for example, select the habits you wrote here by, then you press command C. Then we override the array formula in for February as well. And that is how you customize individual uh, habits for individual months. If you like this template or you want to try this template, you can get it for free in the Medium publication, Google Sheets Geeks, for which I put a link in the description box. And if you want to, uh, if you want to support me financially, there's also a possibility to purchase it in the Sheets for Geeks Etsy shop. Either way, I hope this is helpful and yeah, that it helps you throughout 2025. Thanks for watching.